A few weeks-ish ago, I played a ROM hack called Super Mario Starshine, which took Galaxy Mario and put him in the world of Super Mario Sunshine. It was a great hack that I enjoyed a lot, but like I said in that video, I was always a bigger fan of how Super Mario Sunshine played rather than the way Mario Galaxy does. Mario is just far more agile and adaptable and the level design is far more open and non-linear in nature, which makes the game much more replayable, at least I think. Galaxy by comparison is less exciting to me in the long run because it's much more linear and much more of a Lego set type game as opposed to a Lego bucket type game and if you don't know what I mean by that, then you my friend have been skipping your required viewing and you should get on that after you finish this video. It is worth noting that I don't expect everyone to agree with that but that's fine. You got your Mario pizza and I have mine. I happen to like pepperoni, sausage, and onion on my pizza, and maybe you like feta and chicken cubes and olives on yours. When all is said and done, we all just some pizza for real. Today's ROM hack is kinda like the photo negative of Mario Starshine, it's called Super Mario Solar Shine. And instead of putting Galaxy Mario in Sunshine, it puts Sunshine Mario in Galaxy. While I have played Sunshine hacks before, they're not quite as common as something like Super Mario 64, but that's slowly starting to change and I hope we get way more of these in the future. Solar Shine is a very ambitious Sunshine ROM hack that I love to pieces for many reasons and if you don't play it, I will steal your pizza and throw it on the roof. And with that, here's a moment of silence for the Breaking Bad universe. May all those beloved characters rest in peace. I'll never forget you, Nacho. The full version is supposed to come out near the end of 2023, so that's something to look forward to. Now before I talk about the actual hack, I want to talk about the graphics. Although I imagine this game probably works with regular Dolphin, it actually came with a special custom version of Dolphin that comes packaged with all kinds of post-processing and crazy graphical effects that are not there in vanilla Dolphin, all seemingly for the express purpose of making this specific game look like this and I think the results speak for themselves. The effects are far beyond what the original Mario Sunshine seemed capable of, and it honestly looks beautiful. You might be looking at this footage and saying, Oh no, Bino, you made a mistake right now. You misspoke earlier and confused everyone. The game looks like this because it's a Mario Galaxy ROM hack, not a Mario Sunshine ROM hack. But no, you're wrong. This is Super Mario Sunshine. This is what it looks like now. The lighting and bloom effects are enough that this hack could easily be mistaken for Mario Galaxy at a cursory glance. And if that's not enough for you, well then you're a spoiled baby. But just for you, the game also comes with an option to turn on 60 FPS, and it somehow doesn't break the game at all. Take notes, Rockstar. Mario Sunshine not only looks like this now, but it also runs far more fluidly than the original game. When this hack is at its best, it almost feels like a new game altogether. But it's not just the graphics that makes it good. Everything from the use of Sunshine's enemies and assets to the way challenges are laid out makes it somehow look very authentic to Super Mario Galaxy. In its current state, the levels appear to be a mix of levels from Galaxy 1 and 2. There are probably more from the original than 2, but it's still a very nice touch. One interesting decision is that Mario does not have Flood by default. You have to manually find Flood in every single level to use him. This might seem a little counterintuitive to Sunshine's design, which utilized Flood to bolster Mario's platforming mechanics, so to balance this, the game actually brought back Mario's long jump move to compensate in the meantime. That was the one thing that was missing from Mario Sunshine for me, so bringing it back was a fantastic decision that I can definitely get behind. It makes Mario still feel very adept so you don't think about the fact that he's an overweight man in his 30s who eats way too many carbohydrates. <laughs> One might think that having Mario Sunshine's gameplay with the level design and layout of Galaxy might not work super well, and yeah, there are areas where it doesn't necessarily, but for the most part, having the more exciting movement of Sunshine makes this game more than worth playing to me. 
I remember this funny part where I had to roll the star ball thingy across the map like the watermelon from Sunshine. Combining one of the most hated missions from Sunshine with one of Galaxy's dumbass motion control puzzles. It's a match made in HELL! To me, this is almost like what I wanted Super Mario Galaxy to be from the beginning. A much more liberating and mechanically versatile 3D Mario to match the previous titles. When I'm pulling spin jumps, rocket blasts, BLJs, and pop shove -its, that's when I'm having my fun with 3D Mario, and it's really cool that I can now do that in the world of Super Mario Galaxy. It doesn't have 3 billion mushroom power-ups and springy suits and bumblebee costumes and ice flowers and tanuki cosplays and whatnot, but that's because when Mario is at his best, he doesn't need any of that stuff. And another really cool thing this hack does is that it avoids interruptions. I love the fact that the game doesn't kick you out when you get a shine sprite. It allows you to keep right on going, which keeps the pacing very efficient. The game can also be surprisingly challenging, although it's kept reasonable most of the time. It is worth noting that this game has a couple of wonkier parts. I would normally say that as a criticism, but perhaps the game is just trying to be authentic to the original Mario Sunshine by having random moments that feel like they were never playtested. There was this level where I think you're supposed to destroy the cheese stuff with Yoshi like usual, but no matter how many times I sprayed it, it didn't seem to do anything, so I couldn't go any further than that. And then there was this timed coin mission in Beach Bowl Galaxy, which inflicted physical pain upon me. There were a couple of times where I died for no apparent reason, like touching this pipe in the wrong way, or getting caught under this wooden swing. My only guess is that somehow Mario Sunshine's collision system registers this as getting squashed by a heavy object, which, if I remember right, was pretty much an instant death in the original game, so that's something to watch out for. There were a lot of areas with fixed camera angles that you can't modify, which was kind of frustrating for me. It works better for a game like Galaxy, but one of the things I loved about Sunshine was that you can mess with the camera pretty much whenever you want, so this was a little bit problematic at times. Then you got this level, which has a lot of weird slowdown issues, but at the end of the day, these wonky parts are entirely forgivable. Because it's a ROM hack of a game that is trying to do a lot of new things, and the base game has its share of wonk to begin with, and on top of that, most of the game is still a lot of fun anyway. When this game eventually gets finished, I want to be the first one to know because this was a lot of fun and I can't wait to see what the rest of the game has in store. I would love to see what this game's version of the terrible garbage destruction mission looks like or the stupid bubble levels. If you love either Sunshine or Galaxy, you'll probably love this too. If you're not good at Sunshine, it might be a harder sell for you, but I'd still recommend it anyway just because of how cool of an achievement it is. For me though, this game was an absolute win, combining what I believe to be Mario's best gameplay with its most visually appealing worlds. So in summation, I had a lot of fun with Solar Shine, and if you play it right now, you'll be just fine. Solar Shine is a lot of fun, and Mario is still number one. The next video might be Saints Row, but it might be something else, so I don't yet know. Thank you for listening to my dumb rhymes. If you hit the subscribe, then you'll see me next time. This confrontation ain't no conversation if you feel. That line isn't mine from Eminem I did steal. Uh.